to another episode of Buff's Garage. On this episode, I'm getting back on the 63 Slammed Prix. The 63 Pontiac Grand Prix was pulled out of the woods after 40 years of sitting under the same tree, which gave it that beautiful, yet pretty rusty patina look. So I partnered with Poppy's Patina to help bring out the shine in this thing and make it look, well, beautiful. And for all you patina haters, I just wanna say, that's fine. I love shiny cars too. This car has 46,000 original miles. Had I not saved it, it would have been headed for the scrapyard. That's its original paint. It's not great, but for now I dig the look and Poppy's patina is gonna help me save it. But this weekend, I got invited to Daryl Starbird's Rod and Custom Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I'm bringing the slammed pre. So to do that, we've gotta get this thing aired up, put on the trailer, and headed west. Now that I got it all loaded up, it's time to get it washed and ready for the show. We made it to the Daryl Starbird Rod and Custom Show here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've got Poppy's Patina right behind me, hanging out in their booth for the better part of its two days. I've got the Slam Pre sitting outside because I wasn't here yesterday to get her loaded inside, but we might try to sneak her in later. In the meantime, there's a whole array of cars throughout this entire arena. They've got an exhibition uh, location right in the middle, uh, a few celebrities running around, and of course the shiny cars are up top. So we're gonna go check out the not so shiny cars and then we'll go upstairs and check out the really shiny cars. So come along with me.
Now I'm upstairs and as you can see, this is the shiny stuff. been a full day of running around the car show looking at different things trying to figure out where everything was and honestly just see all the cars because there's some amazing cars oh yeah she's living the dream weather sucks but she's pretty happy right now she needs to be inside so i'm out here in the cool car corral with the slammed pre got it kind of just squatting by itself right here not a lot of cars here on the outside today because the weather's kind of cold i did bring the slam pre they were talking about bringing it inside but that might be later today if at all but uh we're gonna go back and hang out with poppy's patina meet some more folks i've got new friends i've got people that have already know who i am and it's just been a really fun day lots of cool cars everyone has the same mindset gear heads hot rods saving this hobby for the future and really kind of putting an emphasis behind it to keep it alive so uh, let's go back and see some more cars. With a lot of coordination and some help from Poppy's Patina, I was able to get the slammed pre into the show versus outside. So I want to thank them for helping and also thank the organizers of the show for making this happen. 63 Slam Pre is in the show, ready to be viewed tomorrow by a very huge crowd. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to come back in the morning and get her all detailed up and make her real pretty. Hopefully meet a few more people that love her as much as I do.
So we're back for day two of the Daryl Starbird Rod and Custom Show. I got the slammed pre inside. We've got people checking out all the cars and getting tons of questions about the old 63 Grand Prix. Is that a GTO? What, what year of Impala is that? Uh, yeah, silly questions like that. Just having a good day, hanging out with people, talking car stuff. I'm gonna take you around and see if there's anything new today. Just kinda see how the action goes.
Okay guys, this is my first time on a Segway. Papa's Patina, let me borrow their Segway, and we're gonna go cruise around the show. I'm gonna try not to die riding this thing, so giving you a POV of riding the Segway to the car show. garage.com buy some merch because I think I need one of these little doodads they're pretty cool I was surprised how easy it is to ride and I can tell you getting around a car show it'll wear your feet out pretty quick but you know you got to get from one side of the show to the other this is the way to do it so head to buffsgarage.com get you some merch I need a segue thanks guys So here we are, this is the end for me. I can't stick around for the whole thing. They got a lot more stuff going on here at the car show, but I only had a limited amount of time. I was available. Uh, got a lot of feedback on the car. Uh, as you guys saw, I got some shine juice on here from Poppy's Patina and Vice Grip Garage. So we did half the car. We got a lot of feedback on which one people like better and believe it or not, shine juice won out. So we're gonna continue to shine juice it for now. And we'll probably go ahead and do the whole car on that for now. But, real soon, we're going to hit it with some actual Poppy's Patina, and I think we're going to go satin, and that's going to give it a nice little sheen, and uh, repels water really well, but it also is permanent. So I don't have to reapply or anything like that, like the Shine Juice. But the Shine Juice really brought out color that I never expected would come out of this car. So I want to thank all the people that came out, all the, the folks that uh, took pictures with me, shook hands, bought merch, uh, even you know signed some autographs, that was really cool. But most of all, all the people that wanted to come out, see these cars, want to talk about cars, and you know, just the passion, keeping that passion alive. We've got people out here that are 80, 90 years old, and we've got people that are, you know, two and three years old. Every one of them love the cars. Regardless of the color, the shape, the size, truck, car, motorcycle, Everybody here is a car lover and we are keeping that alive for the next generation. So guys, I want to thank Poppy's Patina for inviting me out. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, subscribing, and of course hitting that like, commenting below, and going to buffsgarage.com for all your merch. And with that, we're going to say goodbye to the Daryl Starbird Rod and Custom Show here in Tulsa, Oklahoma for 2024. And we're going to see you next time.
getting better. See how it can be better than walking? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, the NOCO boost is dead. The truck is dead. And we've got to haul a car to the family farm. My fault for not charging that. But I got sent this. I'm just gonna show you the name. The JF Fegwo. Eggwo? Eggwo. I think Dalton had an Eggwo. Anyway, this one's a 6,000 amp jump starter pack. I want to thank them for sending it to me. So we're going to assemble this and see how it works compared to my NOCO boost. The Eggwo has inputs and outputs here. And the jump starter port right there. We've got this fancy deal that plugs into there, so let's do that. With that plugged in, now it's just a matter of putting the negative on the negative and the positive on the not so negative. And then we're going to click power. It's at 71%. Says it's ready. Let's see if it works. And just like that, the Eggwo 6000 amp got the truck running. And now we're back on the road to haul the slam free to the family farm. Well, there is an enormous amount of wind out here today and not a lot to block it. So video is going to be pretty short, but we made it to the family farm. So I'm going to get this car unloaded, make some room in the shop and get it moved in. And then we'll kind of talk about the car and in case you don't know the history of the slammed pre. You can always go back, click the link and check out the full playlist of where this car came from. But let's get the car off the trailer first. <music> bargain basement eBay parts and then you weld them in with almost no time to spare stuff gets bent and broken and this side of the car squats where the other side doesn't and it doesn't quite clear this slip of the trailer so I think a lot's gonna happen at once hopefully I can get in the car before it rolls off the ramps What could go wrong? This is where getting the trailer back into traveling shape and getting the winch put on here would really help. Oh yeah, broke loose finally. Probably damaged all of that airbag mount underneath, but we'll check it out. Well, there's the offending park and before you judge me just understand there wasn't much left of this car 
after that back end sat in a mud hole. So I did my best to get it stitched back together, but this side definitely has issues. I mean, the airbag mount completely folded. Airbag looks like an accordion instead of an airbag. That's why this side hasn't pressured up like the other side. So let's get back to getting this car over here. easier with two people but you can see how badly damaged this driver's side rear is again understand that I was in a hurry when I built this I just wanted it to go up and down so that I get it on and off the trailer and I figured I'd make it better later so as Dalton would say throw it together and let the next guy figure it out because you know because I'm the next guy I hate that guy. But before I can get the slam pre moved inside, I've got to make room because we just got the C10 out of there. And I did some work on mom's vehicles. So got to go in here and clean all this up, make some room, and then start moving this car inside. <music> Well, I spent the whole day cleaning out the shop here at the family farm, just making room for the slam pre to fit in here. Now, the whole idea is at some point we're gonna clear out the rest of this shop. We're gonna put the slam pre on rollers and turn it so that it sits long ways in the shop. The idea being we could still get the tools out that we need because summer is, well, it's kinda here. I know it's gonna turn cold again, but it's, it's heating up. It was almost 80 degrees today. So, we got to get to work on this Pontiac. We've only got about 90 days-ish to get this ready for Hot Rod Power Tour. And you know, it's definitely not there yet. The air ride is functional in the front, not so functional in the back. The switches and all that still need hooked up. We have to make it run again. So it ran and drove for No Name Nationals. And then I noticed that uh, some of the wiring is chewed up and and even the stuff I did is, is starting to you know, fall apart already because I just threw it together for the event. So now I've got to dig back into it, redo the wiring here, try to make all the lights work, the turn signals, brakes, uh, you know, stuff you would need for driving down the road. And honestly, just kind of make it a little bit more comfortable. You know, maybe some exhaust or at least have it come out the car so it's not just right in our faces underneath the dash. Um, Carpet seems a little overrated, but you know, any barrier between the ground and us is helpful, especially when you're riding about four inches off the ground as it is. And then we got to work on the cooling system because uh, while the water pump and radiator and all that's hooked up, the fans aren't. So we got to get those going and you know, just lots of little stuff. And I'd like to try my hand at a little bit of repair. I don't want to go overboard with the car because I really love the way it looks, but I'd like to fix that hole and there's one on the other side as well. I'd also like to be able to put the stainless trim back on the bottom of the car because I think it really just sets off the car, especially when it's sitting low to the ground. So lots to do, about 90 days to get it done. Um, the car is in the shop. I will say this, at the Starboard Car Show, we did half the car in Shine Juice, which is a Vice Grip Garage product that Poppy's Patina distributes and this half of the hood is shine juice and the other half is the original rust. Now, I drove down a dirt road so you can definitely see the dirt lines from driving down the road, but it has maintained the color and I'll bet I could wipe it right off and it would still look good. Now, the other side I don't think looks horrible, but I figured, you know, we did half the car, we'll do the other half and that may be all we get done before Hot Rod Power Tour. If we have time, I'd like to go ahead and take the car back down with degreaser, clean it all up and do the permanent poppies on there and just seal in the patina forever. But for now, it's got the Vice Grip Garage slash poppies patina shine juice on it. And I think it looks pretty good. 
we just did half the roof. You can actually see the line in the video. And of course, half the hood, this fender, this door. I think it turned out really nice. All right, I gotta head out because I gotta go to my real job this week. But in the meantime, this car will be situated in the shop. We'll get it up on jack stands and we'll just start knocking stuff out. The main goal, make it run and drive, make the electrical work and then creature comforts at the end. We'll just see what we can get done. So I know this video has been all over the place between the starboard rod and custom show and you know loading this thing up on the trailer, taking it off a trailer, then putting it in the shop. All of this is to prepare you for the fact that the Slam Pre is back on Buff's Garage. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. <music>